<laughs> Hello, I see people watching. Let me see if I can find myself here. You say hi, Lily. Hi. There we are. I'm just gonna pop us up here so we can see everyone's comments. Okay. All right, so as you're popping on, say hi. Let us know where you're watching from. Look at, we got lots of people starting to come on. We've got Sandra and Kathy and Dion. Oh, we got someone from Amesburg, Maria. That's pretty close to us. Awesome. We'll give everyone some time to get on here and then we will uh, do the supply list and then we'll get painting, right? Are you excited to do the penguin today? Yeah. <laughs> Are you going to stick to those colors or are you going to do something different? I think I'm going to do something different. Something different? That's awesome. Yes, we always encourage everybody to try something different. Do something different with your painting. We just lay out the base for, for how to do it, but then you can add stuff to it. You can put different colors in. That's the fun of painting. <clears throat> So we'll just wait a little bit longer here. I see hello from Canada. We are in Ontario, Canada, so we are fellow Canadians. <laughs> see Tina from New York. So how many kids do we have today that are excited? If you want to put your names in and your ages, we can see who's painting with us today. And we'll just give everyone time to find us. <clears throat> so we've got Keegan, age 10. Monique, age uh, seven, is watching. AJ, he's 11 years old, or she, I should say, I don't know exactly. It could be a short form for boy or girl. <laughs> Lydia is five. We have Duke is seven and Max is six. Pearl is six, Ella seven. Wow, lots of kids painting with us today. I like my friend. Yeah, Ella, like your friend, yeah. And how old are you? Four. Four, yeah. But you're gonna be how old pretty soon? Five. Yeah, you have a birthday coming up in, do you remember? February. February. February, yeah. <laughs> All right, so it seems that we've kind of peaked on how many people are joining. So what we'll do is we'll go over the supply list. There's gonna be a replay after this. So if for some reason um, you don't wanna finish the painting today, there'll be a replay under videos on my page. I'm also gonna upload it to YouTube, which will be under Artistic Chris as well. So either way, you'll be able to see the replay if you can't quite stick it out through the whole thing or um, you can't make it at all today, but you see this video and you wanna join in. Okay, so let's go over some supplies. So we have our three main brushes we're using today. We have a larger flathead here, then we have a detail brush, and then we have a smaller flathead. So just as long as you have a bigger option and a smaller option and more like a little pointy detailed brush, you'll be good there. Is that yours? Awesome. And then you can hold up our paper plates we have. I'm gonna hold it up for them. So we got paper plates and we have our cups of water you can see right here. You don't have to hold it up, it's okay, honey. And we got some napkins. 
We brought a blow dryer. We're gonna have to blow dry in between um, the background and the rest, just to make sure it doesn't smear all in together. So we have a blow dryer. Are we gonna do the colors? We are gonna do the colors. Do you wanna show them what colors we have? Okay, tell them what colors. You can do one at a time. This is purple and pink. That's kind of a purpley pink, but we'll say it's pink. Go ahead, honey. This is pink. Okay. This is yellow. Mm -hmm. This is red. Yeah, we got a red. And it's all blue. Mm -hmm. You can hide comments by just swiping your finger across the screen. So just swipe it to the right and your comments will go away. And we got white. We got black. We got orange. Mm -hmm. Is this green? Yeah. And we got dark green. Mm -hmm. And one more color. Do you know what color this is? Like this. It's kind of like an like a turquoise. Okay, so a turquoise or a, yeah, a turquoise, I'd say. Like a dark aqua or turquoise color here. But like I said before, you can pick any colors you want. It doesn't have to be all these colors. Um, I would stick to a lighter background if you're going to do it, though. Kind of follow along with the background. But once you start the penguin, you can go and do whatever colors you want for him in his hat and his balloons. So if we are ready in between each step we'll just kind of wait to see some thumbs up to make sure we're ready to move on and that no one's falling too far behind so if we are ready to start now does everyone want to throw us some thumbs up likes hearts whatever you would like throw us some and we'll know that we are ready to get started here Okay, see all of them coming up? Mm -hmm. So I think we are ready to get started. What do you think? Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna start by putting some white on our plates. There you go, miss. You can move your plate closer if you want here. Let's switch it up. They're kind of far away there. And you can wash your brush like that. And then we are gonna put, um, some of this, actually, you know what, I'm gonna do the blue instead. So we're gonna put a little bit of that blue on our plates as well. Mixed? Not mixed, just side by side. There you go. Okay. Perfect. All right. And we are gonna be working with our biggest brush. So what we're gonna be doing is, I'm gonna move this up a bit. Give me one second. Let me see here move this up a little bit more oh. and then just kind of push it down there so we can see I'm trying to get a good angle here for everyone to see maybe being down a little bit more would be better okay we'll get it figured out <laughs> okay <clears throat> so how we're gonna start is we are gonna start with our biggest brush here Sorry guys, I'm making everybody dizzy here. Just trying to get a good angle. Okay, so we are gonna start with our biggest brush and we are gonna go into the white. So what we're gonna do, put your brush in your white, honey, and we're just gonna go side to side. So just like this with that white. Like everywhere? Yep, yeah, just on the top here, just like this. We're gonna keep working our way down. So we're just gonna paint from side to side. I know it's white on white right now and that's okay. So we're just gonna paint white on white. Just try to go in a row, little rows like this. Kind of like the whole width of your brush. So you're just making sure it's all covered. Okay, and then what you can do is just take a little bit of blue. So just a tiny bit on your brush there, not too much. I'm gonna go right into that white and just kind of keep going side to side so it kind of smears in a light blue. 
So just dunk the very end, just a little bit. That's a lot, honey. Just a tiny, tiny bit. I can't. Here, Mama, help you. Just wipe it off. Okay, and then you're going to go right over top and just keep doing this, Lily, like that. Just back and forth. Yeah, perfect. Just so you have a little bit of blue. See so how you have the blue kind of in here? That's what we're doing right now. So we're just going side to side with that blue. And then we're going to go back with our white and just go keep going down a little bit more. So side to side. Yeah, white. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> just side to side like this. Until we go down a little bit further. That's fine, Mia. Yep, just grab it if you need it, okay? Yes, that's just the regular blue. That's not the turquoise that we're working with right now. And we're just going to continuously just tap in a little bit of blue and then come in and bring some more blue in. We're just getting our background all set up with just, just alternating between white and blue. And we're just taking just a tiny bit of blue. We don't want the blue to overpower the whole background. We want it to be pretty light. That way we can see our penguin really good. Good job, Lily. And we're just gonna keep going with that white. And every so often we're gonna grab a little tiny, just a little edge you'll see here. I just dunk it really lightly in there. And then I just come in with that blue and just kind of go over and over it, back and forth. It's going to blend it in. You can pick different spots to add the blue. If you put too much, you can always put a little more white over top and just keep blending it in and it'll lighten it again. Good job. Yep, just go back and forth. A little bit too much. That's okay. Just keep going down with it. It's fine. You can always add a little bit of white after it dries if you want. We're going to blow dry this anyways. Make it your own. It doesn't matter. If there's more blue than mine, that's fine. Not everybody paints the same, so it's okay to have it a bit different. And we're just still bringing in some of that blue. And keep going all the way down, okay, honey? And then once we get to the bottom here, you'll see on, on this example piece, let me lift this up a little bit. You'll see down here, it's more of a solid blue. So we're just gonna go, we're gonna leave a little bit of space at the bottom, like right here, you'll see this whole part. And we're gonna go more into the blue. So we're gonna grab a good amount of blue there and we're gonna start I'm going to put too much. That's okay. We're going to use it for other parts anyways. That's okay. And we're going to come in with some darker blue here. And then grab some white and we can kind of blend it all in there. So it's going to be darker down here. This is kind of where he's skating. So this is his ice. This is where we're making it the darkest. Oh, that's okay. We can wash your hands after. That's okay. So we're just creating kind of just a spot where he has his ice where he's skating. I'll hold it up here and you can see. That's all we have so far.
Good job. Keep going all the way to the bottom and down here you're gonna put more blue so that that's kind of where he's, that's where he's skating at, okay? okay. Just make sure you don't hit your brush off the end there. <laughs> It'll be paint everywhere. <laughs> Not like I haven't created paint everywhere when I've painted, but. <laughs> so we'll just give everyone some time to finish that up. Get your sky with just a little bit of blue in there and then where your ice is. And then we're gonna go ahead and blow dry that. So while Lily is getting her blue finished up, I'm gonna go ahead and blow dry mine and then she's gonna blow dry hers. So everybody take your time doing that and you can blow dry when you're done. Don't worry, Samantha, there's gonna be a lot of time. I'm just gonna blow dry this. You keep working on your sky and your ice and we'll give everyone enough time to finish. No worries. blue down here honey okay all the way you see mommy's like this so that's gonna be all blue yeah good job oh do we use this color no it's still the blue you're using yep same color it's just gonna be darker than the top mm-hmm <laughs> <laughs> oh, Grandma's saying hello. You want to say hi to Grandma? Hi. <laughs> Which Grandma? My mommy. <laughs> Okay, you think it's all filled? Are you happy with it? Okay, we'll give it a blow dry here. Watch, hold on to your napkin and your plate, okay?
Hi, Sristy. I see you're joining with your dad today. That's fun. Awesome. Okay, so let me know in the comments if you need more time or if you are ready to go, and we'll see what's happening with everybody. Well, my water's blue. I didn't know that. Your water, yeah, your water turned blue because you painted with the blue. So you're washing your brush off. Everyone can wash that big brush off too when you're done painting. I make some new juice. Okay, we're getting lots of thumbs up, lots of hearts. I see some readies. So we'll continue on in about 30 seconds here. Okay, someone needs a little bit more time. Okay, we'll give it one more minute, then we'll uh, we'll continue on here. Okay, so you got your brush all washed out? Yes, looks so weird. Oh, I lost my napkin when I blow dry. I'll be right back. <laughs> it fell on the ground here. We are painting a penguin today. So that is the example right up there. Where are we? You'll see it there. A cute little penguin. Okay. So what we're gonna do next is we are gonna go and put some black on our plates. So you can go ahead and put some black on there. Where's my other brushes? Okay, so now we can do one of two things. If you have a bigger detail brush like this, this one I think this is a size four. If you have a bigger one like this, you can use this for your next step. If yours is really, really tiny, then what you can do is just use this one. Um, and what you'll do is just use it on the skinny part. So instead of painting flat, like down like this flat, it'll be more up. Mine's my tiny. Let me see it. No, you should be okay. If you feel like it's hard, you can do it with this one, okay? Okay. I'll just test it out. Um, and what we're gonna do is we are gonna make the shapes of everything in black before we paint. So, well, we're gonna paint the, the shapes on, but we're not gonna color anything in as we go. We're just gonna kind of make the outline of everything and then we're gonna go from there. So I'll do uh, step by step um, so that you can understand what's happening here. So we're gonna go with our brush into that paint and what we're gonna be working on first is the body of the penguin. So he kind of looks like if you fill up a water balloon and it's bigger on the bottom and then it gets skinnier on the top. So we are gonna come across, and I'll hold this up for you. We are gonna kind of pick in the middle of the page here and we are going to draw his body. So we're gonna come out bigger on the bottom. Bigger on the bottom here and smaller on the top. Can you do that, Lily, like that? I think so. Like that big? Yeah, here, let me help you out a little bit with the... Okay, so like right about like that, and then like coming up like that, okay? Okay. So really all we've done so far is we've just kind of an upside down U, and we've made it a little bit smaller at the top or a, a, not an upside down U, that is the right way a U goes, but a little bit smaller at the top. Good job. So we're just gonna make sure that his neck is a little bit skinnier here. And then what we're gonna do is put kind of like a ball on top. So we're just gonna go ahead and paint a ball on top here all the way around till it's connecting. So just like that. Like that? Perfect. 
This is a Canson multimedia uh, book. So it's an 11 by 14. You can get them on uh, Amazon at Walmart and also I believe at Michael's. Um, it's Canson, like C-A-N-S-O-N. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do the exact same thing, but we're going to do it inside. So we're going to do one a little bit smaller. And this is going to be, you'll see here, so far we've done the outside of him. So now we are going to do the inside here. So we're just kind of making the same exact shape, but we're going to do it a little bit smaller. So we're going to come in like this. So you're going to do the same thing, Lily, just smaller on the inside for his belly. Yeah. You can bring these sides all the way up here. And then we're going to do the same thing like this. Just like that. So it's going to look like that. Almost looks like a keyhole. Like from, I don't know if anyone's ever seen the movie Beetlejuice, but you know that the old style like keyholes? <laughs> I guess I'm old, so you probably haven't seen Beetlejuice if you're just a kid still. I don't, I don't think Lily's seen Beetlejuice. I don't know if she'd be scared or not. I'm not sure. I think my son has seen it though. And he's eight. Okay. So then once we've got our little keyhole here, we're gonna be doing his two fins on the side or his arms. So really what they are is they're like little triangles, but there's just kind of a little dip. So I'm gonna show you here. So on one side here, we're going to kind of curve up like that and then back down. So you'll see, I'll hold it up for you. We just kind of curve it downward and then keep it downward on the bottom. So it's like a triangle, but it's got a wonky side there. Joanne loves the Beetlejuice reference. Yes. <laughs> As a kid, I watched that movie like a million times. So <laughs> that's the first thing that popped into my mind. With those old spooky keyhole, the homes that were all haunted. And, and then we're going to do the same exact thing on the other side. Give him another arm. I got away. Good job, Lily. That's looking fantastic. So now we have two. And they don't have to be incredibly even or anything like that. He could be waving his arms around. He is going to be holding some balloons. So he's having a good old time skating. He's happy. <laughs> Just let me know, are you keeping up okay? Do you need me to slow down? Um, are you good for the next steps? It's always good to keep communication going just because I can't see everybody. So I don't want anyone to feel rushed. This is a fun event. We're not rushing through, right, Lily? We're taking our time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, Mommy, uh, I'm going to be on a penguin to, like, skate with one foot. You're going to have him skate with one foot? Yeah. Oh, is one going to be tucked in? Okay. That's a good idea. Okay, I see lots of thumbs up. So, okay, so what we're gonna do next is we are gonna work on his skates and his feet. So down here, we're gonna do like little trapezoids. So we're learning what trapezoids are in school right now, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. So it's gonna be four sides, one smaller at the top. Are you still doing black? Yeah, I'm still doing black. So we're gonna do two of those. I'll show you one second, Lily, and then I'll show everybody else too. Now I see. You see how? Yeah, so I think I'm gonna do it like that, and then like that. Okay, yeah, he could be kicking his foot up. That's a good idea. So you'll see there, his two little feet. It's just smaller at the top here and bigger at the bottom, and then the two sides come in. Just like a small little trapezoids there. 
And I see a couple people saying a little bit slower. So after this step, we'll give everyone a minute to catch up there. And take your time. Get your penguin just like you like them. Are you having fun? Yeah. yeah. Daddy had a penguin. Oh, he's beautiful. Wait till you start coloring him in with all his colors. He's going to be so pretty. Do you know what color you're going to do your penguin? What color? Pink at the bottom. Okay. White in the middle. Yeah. And then maybe all he was red was all hands. Okay. Oh, you're going to make like a multicolored one? Yeah. Awesome. And then mm -hmm. uh, for his nose, I'm going to do yellow. Okay. And then for his whole body, I'm going to do black. Okay. And then for his buttons right here, I'm going to do black too. Okay. And then for the balloons, I think I'm going to do this one yellow, mm -hmm. this one orange, this one blue. Uh, You've got a plan. This one green. <laughs> he just paints it on my painting. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what I think I know that I want to do. Okay. I think you've got a good plan going. Uh, yes, Diane, I'll be posting this on YouTube after. It might not be today, um, but it will be this week coming up. Um, but if you want to watch the replay before it's up on YouTube, um, it will be under videos on my page, just on the page you're on right now. Um, Violet, will you be doing a painting of a goat anytime? I can put it in for a kid's paint day if that's something that you would like. I can put it on my list and put it in um, for sure. Okay, so we'll continue on. If for some reason you still need more time, just throw it in the comments. Um, okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna work on his skates. So we got his feet here, and we're gonna just put paint two small lines coming down. So just two small lines like that. There you go. Two small lines like that. Mommy, I did one close together, is that okay? And that's okay. So we just have those two little lines coming down. And then we're gonna do his skates. So we're just gonna draw a line here and then it's gonna come up on the end, just like that. Can you do that, Lily? Perfect. And then that one? Yep, the other way. So now this one's gonna come up like that, see? So it's gonna go the opposite way. Perfect, good job. You're so good at this. He looks like he's doing a little dance. <laughs> he's so cute. Okay, so we have our two. So all I did was I just drew a line and kind of curled it at the end and a line this way and curled it up at the end. Yeah, we can definitely do a llama too. This whole year is going to be filled with paint days. So there's so many different, just keep throwing ideas at me and I will write them down. And I will get to them, I promise. <laughs> okay. So what we can do next is we can work on his hat. So you can do his hat any way you want. I made this one here pretty big and fluffy. It's kind of fallen off his head a bit. Um, but you can really do your hat any way you want. I'll show you how I did this one, but you can get creative. You can do different styles of hat. Go ahead, honey, yeah, sure. Hi, Susan. <laughs> yes, he has skates. He's, uh, he's partying it up on the ice today. Um, okay, and we're gonna do the hat. So what I'm really gonna do is just the base first. So we're gonna make it fun, and we're just gonna put little, Keep going little waves around his head here. And we're gonna bring them up and back around. Like I said, you can do it straight, you can do wavy like this. You can really do anything you want. A 
a sloth, that's a good idea too. And I have looked up dragon ones as well to kind of get some ideas. So I see all these ideas coming up. Mommy, mm -hmm. I don't think I like it like that. You don't like it like that, honey? No. You want to try to fix it? Yeah. Okay, well, just, um, why don't you put a base around it here so that it looks like a hat here. You could put like a little base and then once you color it in, it'll look better. We haven't colored anything in yet. So we just kind of have those clouds around his head. It, it looks like a little fluffy cloud kind of. <laughs> and then we can put a triangle right off of there. So coming up like that. Mine's kind of going to the side a bit. I think he's skating so fast that his hat's kind of blowing a little bit. <laughs> I didn't do a dragon yet, but I'm looking into doing something. I don't know if it'll be like, probably for a, a pair to me paint day because kids love dragons. Um, but I didn't paint one yet. And I didn't do a dinosaur yet either, but that's a good idea. And then I just added another little fluffy cloud at the end here for his hat. You'll see there. You good, miss? Um, What's wrong? <laughs> What's wrong, honey? Nothing. Nothing? Don't worry, we're gonna color the hat in and it's gonna look beautiful, okay? Don't be hard on yourself. We're all learning, don't be hard on yourselves. That's something you gotta learn. We're all learning, I'm still learning too. There's lots of techniques I still need to learn. So, as you keep practicing, you get better. I'll definitely be doing a bunny for Easter. So coming the months of Easter, I will definitely be doing, I don't know if Easter's in March or April this year, but um, they'll definitely be bunnies. Okay. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw his balloons. So you can put as many or as little balloons as you want. I did six um, and all we're really gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to do the shape. And then you can pick where you wanna put them. So what we do is we kind of um, do what we did with the shape of his body, but we're gonna do it the opposite way. So instead of it being big at the bottom and small at the top, we're gonna go ahead and make it big at the top and small at the bottom. So we can go ahead and do that here with one of them. So we just kind of draw a circle here like that and leave the bottom open, okay, Lily? So just do a circle almost all the way, but not fully. So we have a circle there. Well, it's kind of like an ovally circle. Oh, Christina, I didn't even see your comment, but I'm not, I'm sure it's nothing bad. Don't worry. <laughs> we are not easily offended in this house. No worries. <laughs> Lily's hair has always been of topic. She used to have really, really a lot of curls and everybody would always be like, look at how much hair she has. Look at how big her hair is. So we're kind of used to the whole hair comments. So we have that half a circle here. And then what we're going to do at the bottom is we can do it a couple different ways, but we're going to go ahead and just do three little points here. See like that, honey? So just three little points. There you go. So we've got like that right there. Mom, I think I'm, I'm not, I'm gonna know what we're gonna do next. You know what you're gonna do next? Yeah, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put them in his hand. Okay, like a string? Yeah. Yeah, and then we can take and just draw a string. We can make it kind of wavy here, coming down, like he's holding it. So just like that, and he's got one balloon. <laughs> one little tiny balloon so far, but we're gonna add more. 
So you can go ahead and you can put as many or as little balloons as you want. You can place them where you want. I'm gonna do three on this side in total and three on this side and I'm gonna make them different heights. But you go ahead and you do however you want. And you don't even have to make them all the exact same size either. They can be different sizes. Are you gonna do another balloon, honey? Yeah. Okay. And you can make your strings kind of intertwine here. This is a fun little painting, so. Kind of like that there. Oh, a hippo would be a cute idea too, Christina. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, that'd be really cute. I appreciate all these ideas because sometimes you just kind of run into, you know, you do so many, you're like, what can I do next? What does everybody want? So. Always the suggestions are very welcomed. So we got three on that side and I'm gonna do three on the other side. Are you gonna do any on the other side or are you just gonna do three, honey? Okay. Lots of people are saying they want to paint a monkey. Would you like to paint a monkey? Yeah. That'd be fun, wouldn't it? Yeah. Um, well, can I paint an elephant? An elephant? That's a good idea. Wait, 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 wait. You got paint all over your eyeball. Hold on. <laughs> all right, so you guys go ahead and paint your balloons. I'm going to wash Lily up. She has a little bit of paint going on. I think some went flying. Did paint go flying in your hair, honey? Let me see you. Yeah, Mama's going to go get you a wipe. I'll be right back, okay? Okay. You look like you have a black eye, miss. Are you, you look like you're gonna be a rock star. <laughs> you're gonna be a rock star? Mm. Here, mommy will help you. Don't hurt me. I'm not gonna hurt you, honey, it's just a wipe. All right, just keep your eye closed, please. We really get into our paints over here, don't we, Lily? <laughs> Give me your little arm too, honey. Other arm. Okay, everyone's got their, that's okay your hands because you're gonna keep painting. Okay, so once we've got all that done, um, we're gonna go ahead and blow dry it again because we're gonna be putting some colors on and we don't want the black to smear into our colors. Mommy, uh, I, I don't have that much black for my balloons anymore. What, oh, for your balloons? Mm -hmm. Oh, why you wanted to paint more balloons? Okay, here. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and blow dry mine and then Lily's gonna blow dry hers and then we'll all meet back here to start coloring it in.
So just let us know in the comments if everyone's got their uh, painting blow dried and we're ready to move on to put some fun colors in here. Wait and see if everybody's ready. Okay. Here. Okay, careful because you're getting your paint on my hands. So that we can wash your face off in your hands, honey. Okay. Thank you. All right, so we'll just give it one more minute and then we will start painting. But what we can do in the meantime is we can start to put some colors on our plates. So um, really there's a variety of colors that's gonna be used for this. So we should already have white on our plate, so we're good there. If you don't have enough white, um, then you can go ahead and put some more. I'm also gonna add some of this turquoise color to my plate. Me too. Now this one, Lily, you don't need a ton. This is a bit of a thicker paint. I'm gonna do it for you, okay, honey? Thank is this the color? Yeah, you wanna use some of this color? Mm -hmm. And like I said, you don't have to have all these colors on your plates. You can even have different colors if you want. So we're gonna put some green. You want green? No. No green? Okay. I'm gonna put some orange. Supplies or something else. Okay, do you want orange or? Oh, uh, yes. Okay. I definitely need that. Okay, and then we're going to put some red. Do you want red? 
Um, yes. Okay. Okay, and your honey, when you have that thickness, you can use that to paint some other spots because that's really thick. So you can make it a little bit thinner. That way it'll dry faster, okay? So use whatever paint you have here to paint whatever other parts you want that color, okay? Okay. And then I'm going to put on some pink here. You want pink? Uh, yes. There you go. What else do we have here? We need some yellow. You want yellow? Yes. Okay. And what are we missing? Are we missing anything? I don't think so. I think that's everything. I missed the color for myself. Which color? You gonna go grab it? Yeah. Okay, watch your hair in the paint there. Okay. So what I'm gonna be using is um, just this small little flathead brush here to color in things. So this is basically gonna be used for coloring in most of what we're gonna do for the rest of the time. Um, don't worry, Tara, if you missed it. After this, I'm gonna post a replay, so you can do it with your kids anytime. Uh, just check on your videos on my page and it will be there. And what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna start by painting um, his inside here uh, white. So we're gonna make this all white, that way we can see his face and his buttons later when we put them on. We're gonna go ahead and put just this center section in here with white. You could do any other color if you wanted to, as long as it's pretty light, that way it doesn't affect putting on his buttons or his face. If you wanted to do like a light blue or a light pink, you could always do that. Or a yellow. You back, miss? Okay, we'll try to resolve it later. If not, no big deal. I got a nice color. Oh, that's pretty. What did you grab? Like a light blue, eh? You want to show everybody what you grabbed? Yeah. There you go, show them. You grab like a light, light blue. What are you gonna paint with that? The, this, all around his body. Okay, that's a good idea. Okay, so I'm still painting in white here. My white paint is a bit thinner, so I'm just gonna put a second coat. It doesn't have to be completely solid. If you can still see a little bit of the background, that's okay. It's a, it's a cartoonish painting, so kind of adds character. And then while I have my white out on my brush, I am going to paint his hat here and up here white. Now, like I said, you don't have to do exactly like me. You can go and get creative and paint whatever colors you want. You're going off on your own, aren't you? <laughs> Lily always goes off on her own. She always has her own ideas in her head. And that's awesome. We all see it different, so. We always encourage being creative and having your own, your own process. <laughs> oh, a zebra. Juliana would like a zebra. Would you like to paint a zebra? Yeah, I think that would be super fun. Um, Christy, the supply list is actually in the event 
description. So if you go to the actual event on like go to events on my page and then you look at click on this event and you'll, you'll see at the top, it'll say like details and discussion. If you click details and just scroll down a bit, the whole supply list is there for you. So all the colors, the brushes I'm using, um, plates, napkins, blow dryer, all that, all that is in there Mama, for you. Do all my balloons yellow. You do whatever you want, sweetie. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is, um, we're going to go ahead and paint in his body. So I'm going to do that turquoise color. And I'm gonna go ahead and paint in all his body here. So when we were all finished painting, um, I always love to see everyone's paintings and so does Lily. So you can feel free to send them like right under here if you want, or you can private message me that your pictures and I'll put them up in a train and show everybody all your beautiful works of art. So it's kind of like a train video where I put them in and then all the paintings come up if you haven't seen one yet. And it kind of just displays everyone's art and people love to see how different everybody made their art look. So yeah, we're just painting his body in here. And the reason why we did a pretty light background is just because it's pretty easy when we do a light background to kind of get away with one or two coats as opposed to if we did something really dark, then we'd have to put a ton of coats. So that's why I stuck with just a light blue and white for this one. You can start to see he's coming along. He's looking cute. Let me know in the comments what color is everyone painting their penguin? Do you wonder what everyone is painting their penguin? What colors? I think black. Okay. Blue. Okay. Yellow. Okay. Green. All right. Red. Wow, that's a variety, eh? Yeah. And I think... Mm -hmm. Um orange okay that's all i think what's your favorite color penguin lily my favorite color penguin yeah pink pink yeah. why am i not shocked miss mom do you want me to tell you the colors i'm doing on my penguin yeah yeah go ahead blue okay yellow mm -hmm. what i uh, mean that white color i don't know what it's called uh, i think it's white but you just kind of mixed it with some grays and stuff so or blacks in color, so it looks a little bit gray. Um, black and and that's all I add. Okay, so we have one person's doing theirs black, another person's doing blue. Uh huh. That's all we got so far. Maybe they want it to be a surprise when they send us their pictures. Oh. Oh, Sharon said she painted her penguin pink. <gasps> You got it right. <laughs> oh, another person is doing purple. That would be pretty. Now I have a question, Miss. This here, are you going to paint this all in red because that's his face? Or are you leaving that? I'm leaving that. You're going to leave it? Okay. His face has to go right here. So you're gonna pick a color, you should color it in. Uh, paint it in a certain color, just so the background's not showing. What color do you wanna pick? Clean off your brush really good and then pick a color to paint his face right here, okay? Like so good? Yeah, yes, like so good. <laughs> oh, uh, Jillian says she has teal, purple, and dark blue. That's awesome. Debbie says black and she always gets paint on her shirt. So you're not alone. You have paint on her shirt and so does Debbie. <laughs> black with a purple vest. That's cool. Awesome. Okay, so we're going to continue on here and I'm going to paint my penguin's hat pink. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and fill that in. Mom, I do the same thing as that. I always do the same as that. That way, if anybody wants to follow exactly, they know exactly what I did. But I think I used a little bit of a different pink last time, but that's okay. It's pretty close. Good job. So just wait until it dries a little bit and then we'll put his face on, okay? Mm. Are you gonna finish, are you gonna paint in his hat? We're painting in the hat right now. Yeah. What, what color are you gonna do his hat? I will try orange. You gonna try orange? Okay. That's a good idea. Ooh, we got a rainbow. Somebody's doing a rainbow penguin. That's pretty cool. Awesome. So I do have polka dots on my original hat, but I'm gonna let this background dry first just because it's gonna just blend it all in if I don't wait. Mom, and, and I'm gonna go ahead and color in these balloons. Well, next time can we do a tiger? A tiger? Yeah, we could do a tiger. There's so many different things we could do. So many. And a shark and an alligator. Yeah, wow. Oh, an alligator, that'd be cute. Yeah, cute little alligator. Mm-hmm. So we're just, I'm just going ahead and painting in my balloons. I have a rainbow of balloons. So I have a blue one here and a green and a red and yellow and orange. So I'm just gonna go ahead and paint those in. You Mommy, paint yours in whatever color you want. Mommy, since, yes? Uh, I'm gonna paint this for dad. This is for daddy? You're painting it for daddy? Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna put something at the bottom. What are you gonna put? I'm gonna surprise you. You're gonna surprise me? Okay. Just be careful with your water mist, okay? I want you to spill it. So I have two red balloons because I only had five colors and I have six balloons. So I did two red balloons You did all your balloons yellow, you said, Lily? Yep. What are you doing down there for Daddy? I'm doing that, see? That's cute, what is that? A little thing. You know, like I... Oh, I love Daddy? Yeah. Oh, good job, honey. Oh, I forgot my face. I thought it was all done. <laughs> okay, so what do we got left now? I got an orange or a yellow balloon I need to do here. orange balloon. We'll do his face in a couple minutes, okay, Lily? Okay. We're gonna have to blow dry yours anyways first. It's a little bit wet still. So let's see what we got so far. So that's what we have so far. Well, can you give me a wipe for my hands? A wipe? Yep. Yeah. Since they're all done. Mm-hmm. There you go. And also, I'm gonna go ahead and paint in his little penguin feet, and I'm gonna do them orange. So if you haven't painted in his little feet yet down here, you can do that. I love the colors you chose already, Lily.
Heather says, thank you, Crystal and Lily, for sharing your Sunday and your talent. What do we say when people say thank you? Uh, no. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> Can you say you're welcome? Oh, no. Oh, Lily, are you being shy? No. <laughs> She's being shy. I don't know how to say it. Don't worry about being behind. Just take your time painting. Just have fun. Um, like I said, after this video is done, it's going to be reposted right away. So you can go back and you can catch up, but really, um, we're just coloring in, um, the penguins and the balloons and the hat right now. Uh, and it's just all freehand paint. So, um, just whatever colors you want. I always like to keep Sunday's parent and me, um, you know, fun and where you can really do anything. I mean, we all have big imaginations, so kind of bring out the kid back in us for all of us adults painting. <laughs> Thanks, Lily. Okay, so once we have all our um, things painted, we can go ahead and we just want to make sure that our center of our body and our face is dry. So um, we can go ahead and blow dry it if we have to. If yours is dry already, then don't worry about it. I'm going to go ahead and blow dry Lily's. And then when I come back, we are going to work on his face, his buttons, and just a little bit of decoration on his hat. Mommy, we got this too. Yeah, and we need to write on our balloons. You're right. So we're going to blow dry. I'm going to blow dry Lily's first because hers paint's a bit thicker than mine. Can you hold on to your napkin and your plate, honey? Thank you. Yes, the blow dryer tip, I, uh, I'm i not very patient when it comes to painting, like when I paint on my own. I get so excited about having like the end product that I could, there's no way I could probably ever paint with oils because I know it takes like three weeks to dry and I think that would <laughs> potentially um, be the end of me if I had to wait that long. So for me, I always get so excited just to paint and kind of do the whole process when I see it in my mind at, at once. Um, so for the blow dryer tip, I... I love it because I can just blow dry and then keep painting. So especially, I mean, when I, ha when I have so many tutorials, I want to kind of crank a few out in a day um, as examples. So I don't like to wait too long, but okay. So now that we have everything painted, we're going to go ahead and do his face. Don't worry, Sharon, there will be a replay under videos. So go to my page and go under videos and you'll see the replay there if you missed the beginning. And I'm just going to put a little bit on my little pointy brush here. So you'll see that's just my little pointy brush. And I'm going to do two eyes. So just two little circles. Mommy, I don't want those to look like that on the penguin. You want it to look like that? Yeah. Okay, so just give me a second and I'll help you out, okay? So we're going to do two little eyes here. And then we are going to do a triangle. So we're gonna do a little line. I don't want to. You want to do it? No. 
Do you want me to do it? No. What kind of nose do you want, Benjamin? Like that. Oh, oh, like this. Oh, okay, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to do a little upside down triangle. So a line across and then pointing down here. And then we're going to go ahead and paint on buttons. So I have two little ovals here. So I'm going to do two little ovals and color them in. And I'm gonna give that nose time to dry before I put in my orange. So while I'm waiting, I'm gonna go put some circles in my hat. You can make any decorations on your hat. You could do stripes or stars or hearts. I did a little nose. Oh, so cute, <laughs> really cute. And um, I'm gonna do those in the turquoise here. But I'm just gonna do little circles on the hat and color them in. You could do a combination of different things. And just random circles here. Well, I think I'm done. If you're done, you can be done, honey. That's fine. Do you want to show everybody what you did? Very nice. Beautiful. One second. Okay, honey. Okay. And then we can write any messages we want on our balloons. So I wrote 2021 to celebrate the year, the new year. Um, you could write love or joy or whatever you wanted. You could put your name in one of the balloons. Lots of different options. But I put 2021 in this one, so I'm just going to do a little two. Oh, doesn't And a zero. And a two. And a one. So we have 2021 there. And you can put different messages in your balloons. If you want to do something that you wish for the new year or for something good to happen this year, um, you could put that message in your balloon. You can really do anything you wanted. You can decorate your balloons. They don't have to be just solid. There's so many options. How do you keep these up? I don't really want to use them. These ones. What, honey? There's more in here. Yeah, I know. Let's just leave them though, okay? You can wash your hands with the soap and water after. I don't want to use all those just for that because you'll use them all, okay? Um, Nikki, I it depends how many comments I have. Right now, I, I work alone. Um, I just hired a virtual assistant um, a couple days ago, but she hasn't started yet. So um, right now, depending on how many comments, but if you have an important question you want to ask me or anything like that that you think I might have missed, you can just go on my page and message me and I always see all my messages there. So that's a guaranteed way for me to um, respond to you and to see you and what you um, what you uh, wanted to ask. So just feel free, anyone, if you have a question, you can private message me and I will definitely get back to you that way. Sometimes it's hard the way Facebook sets up the comments um, to see every single person. So, okay, so what do we have here? So. We are almost done. I'm just going to take and outline my little dots here just to kind of make them pop out a bit. Almost, honey. And then I just have to fill in my nose with some orange or my beak. Sharon says she named hers Flippers. What are you gonna name your penguin, Molly? No. No? Are you bouncing all around? Uh, I want Daddy to name it. Daddy's gonna name it. Okay. Yeah. And then we have his little nose filled in there, his little beak. Um. 
Um, a virtual assistant answers questions, so they'll help me answer questions if I don't see everybody's, um, just because um, sometimes I get a lot of questions in a day. So I'm usually on the computer from almost morning till night right now. I have been for a few months just because I get so many questions. So a virtual assistant will help me answer those questions. And also they will help me, um, they'll post some stuff for me so that just so I can kind of focus on the important, most important parts of the business, like, you know, creating fun tutorials, doing the things that I like to do. Um, anybody really could answer a question like, where do I find the supply list, right? So things that just kind of take up your time um, that are easy to do, that just kind of takes the load off. And then I can focus on the most fun things, creating and creating with you guys. So um, that's kind of what a virtual assistant will do. But yeah, so there it is. Now don't forget the most important thing you can do with your painting, and that is to sign it. So be proud of your work and what you've accomplished. Remember, if you've painted with me today, then you've already improved your painting because you have practiced more. So I'm gonna put my initials down here. And you can put your whole name. You can put your initials. You could put even like, some people just do like a little symbol that represents them, whatever you would like to do. And that's our happy little penguin. So feel free guys to send in your pictures. You can put it under this comment thread or you can private message me them, but I will put them up um, on actual Facebook. So if you private message me and you do not want a picture, let's say of your kids online, then just send me a picture of the painting. Don't send me a picture with your kids in the picture just because I will post it um, on like kind of like a video with a train of everybody's paintings. So um, yeah, so thank you so much for joining. Oh, you know what, you're right. I didn't do the tie on the hat, Debbie. <laughs> Let's do it. This guy, he, his hat was just gonna blow away, I guess. <laughs> thank you for saying that. I, uh, I thought I did everything. So yeah, so we're just gonna bring a little string down here, right around his chin. I don't know if penguins have chins. Do penguins have chins? <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah. We're gonna make an imaginary chin here and we're gonna bring it around on both sides. And then we can do a bow in the middle. So we can really just loop. We're gonna loop it. So I brought two strings down. We're gonna put one loop here, one loop here. And then just the strings just kind of falling down. And there he goes, he has his little tie. <laughs> Thanks, Debbie. <laughs> I totally forgot about that part. Mom, the penguin looks different than that one. Does he look a little different? Yeah, because... Uh, I think this one turned out a little bit smaller, right? Eh? Yeah, because that one has little eyes and this one has bigger eyes. Yeah, that's and, what happens when we freehand sometimes, yeah. right? And he has a bigger nose and he has a little nose. <laughs> Do you want to come say goodbye to everybody? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Where are you? Come in here. Over here, miss. Right in here. This way, over here. I think you need a bath. I think you painted on yourself more than on the paper. <laughs> All right. Bye. Thanks, guys, for joining us.